Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode of Kurek Educational Pack. Or at least for now, since this is the last animal of the Arid Animal Pack. More specifically, the Dromedary Camel. This um, episode in particular is pre-recorded, just like the previous episode, since I am on holiday. So, um, so yeah, any comments recommending stuff, I'll, I'll only be able to see it once I'm back from holiday. But yeah, I pre-recorded some episodes for Curic Educational Pack just so I could get some episodes out whilst I was on holiday since I'm gone for 10 days. So as I said, this episode is the Dromedary Camel and well, we'll be doing a... It's a, it's a relatively quick episode, let's be honest, since I've already done the other half for the, um, the Wild Lasses. Uh, but but still still a very interesting episode since um, well it's the, the last episode and um, and it's it's a it's quite an, a unique enclosure I must admit the dromedary camel is uh, probably one of my favorites of the pack if it weren't for the sand cat and the porcupine um, honestly it's like a mid animal when it really comes to the tier um, of all the animals because I also really like the wild ass. But I do prefer this animal above the Addux, also above the Dharma Gazelle, and above the Black Rhinoceros. So it's kind of in the middle if I would rank it amongst the other contestants of the Arid Animal Pack. But nonetheless, I must say that the um, Dromedary Camel is a very detailed um, well, animal in this game. Frontier has an beautiful job on making a very interesting looking dromedary camel. I think that the, just the shade detail in its skin flaps and, and wrinkles and stuff like that is just very well done. But um, there's also, oh, there's also a lot of different um, morphs that I think they've added. They've added a couple of um, pale morphs, I think, or some, some piebald. Um, and they've also added those same morphs to to um, the Bactrian camel, so they have been updated this um, as well. If you haven't um, seen that already, then well, now you know. Um, but it's obviously been out for quite a while since the Arid Pack has been out for a couple of months now. But yeah, so this enclosure, just like the previous one, has more of a, um, I would say, farm feeling. It's the idea that it's more of a farm enclosure since these animals are found in farms, or at least the dromedary camel is, not so much the Somali wild ass. But since the Somali wild ass looks like a domestic donkey, that's that's the reason. But I've explained that in my previous episode. Now it's all about the, the um, dromedaries. And actually the dromedary camel is uh, quite a popular domestic animal in many countries. Um, maybe not as much in the Western world, but definitely if you go to um, Northern Africa or Middle East, and even in, um, I would say, South Asia with Bactrian camels, I would assume as well that um, they're a very common, uh, well, animals for not specifically um, on a farm maybe although they are definitely on farms as well but also even for transport of people and of items so it has a long history of people throughout human history it has been um well helping humans out a lot when it comes to a lot of um farm related stuff uh so and i'm uh, I'm not really an expert on, on my uh, history on um, humans more than I am on animals themselves, but I think they used dromedary camels or other stuff as well, maybe for fur, maybe for milk. I'm not sure. I couldn't I couldn't say. I've never heard of it before. I've never heard of um, dromedary milk, but who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there, you know, but yeah. I just know that they use it for transport mostly, but I could definitely be wrong. Yeah, the dromedary camels um, in this specific enclosure, I have a um, what's it called? A, a, a um, melanistic morph, which is quite cool. I was very lucky because I'm playing sandbox mode. So in sandbox, it's really difficult to get color morphs um, without using mods. But I coincidentally got a melanistic um, dromedary. I'm not sure if those are just happen to be more common uh, for the dromedaries compared to other animals. Maybe I'm just not that lucky and it's just normal. But yeah, I felt a bit lucky having the um, melanistic dromedary. The uh, actual 
uh, animal is maybe not in my like top list of like favorite animals but i must say that i think a lot of people asked for the dromedary camel since the beginning of the game since we, since we knew there was bactrian camels in game because i think it's like the more popular uh alternative i think people prefer dromedaries above bactrians because of their popularity and also i think a dromedary is a very very iconic animal especially when it comes to desert animals if you think desert animals i think probably the first animal most people come up with is a dromedary camel it is the most popular desert animal probably of the sahara desert and um it's it's a nice addition because now we actually have some uh, proper desert animals you know we we had a few we had the fennec fox but desert has always been a lacking um biome in this game although I, you can't blame the game since that's like the definition of a desert the fact that it's lacking of life in general although you can't ignore the fact that despite a desert being quite well you know arid there's still a lot of life to be found in the deserts and the dromedary is i think the perfect example of this and actually um the camel family they originally evolved during the ice age or at least they thrived during the ice age i'm not sure of, of their um, actual origin of evolution but they thrived during the ice age because of their pump back that they had that was very very useful for um for storing energy since it's full of fat um which is very useful in a very arid um tundras back in the ice age but coincidentally these advantages in a snowy environment just happen to also be very uh very advantageous when it comes to very dry and warm climates like deserts so that's how these are one of the few iconic ice age animals that that still lives and still survives. it's actually it's 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 an ice age animal if you think about it just like um the muskox is also one of their one of those um, iconic Ice Age animals that's still alive, and it's really cool. But yeah, the dromedary, uh, no, not the dromedary, well, maybe, but I know that, for example, the Bactrian camel is still found in a lot of snowy environments in Asia, so um, that's also why they're so furry and fluffy because of their, um, because of their Ice Age history. But yeah, a lot of people see them as desert animals, which, you know, they are, but they're also found in um, snowy environments, or at least the Bactrian. I'm not, I'm not sure about the Dromedary. But the Bactrian specifically is found in a lot of snowy environments in Asia. Now, this, as I said, this is short to speed build. That's also why it's not even that fast pace. Normally, I'm about like 10 times speed, 15 times speed. This time, we're only at 8 times speed. It's um, a shorter build, I guess, since we've already done the other half. We've basically done the whole building. But um, there's not much to do. I think I'll do a bit more plants on the actual um, in the actual enclosure and some enrichment items. I guess what I can say for now is enjoy the rest of the speed build. Enjoy the last episode of Kurek Educational Pack for now. And um, well, I'll see you at the end of the video when we'll do a walkthrough of the last two animals, which are the um, the wild ass and the dromedary camel. Enjoy the rest of the speed build.
All right, so let's do a walkthrough of the final two animals of the Arid Animal Pack, the Dromedary Camel and the Somali Wild Ass. Not specifically the last animals of this zoo, but at least the last animals for now being the uh, Arid Animal Pack. So let's have a look at the Somali Wild Asses first, since they are, after all, the first enclosure that we have done for the from the two of them. We have to go through this eating court with some nice um, Arid music playing, and then we we get a sneak peek of the enclosure, of the nice barn kind of feeling over there. And uh, yeah, this is it. So it's quite a simple enclosure. Um, I said this for a lot of the enclosures, but it is arid after all, so not a lot of plants, although a lot of grasses to try and make it interesting, at least. And it's quite um, a nice few. I mean, they can't really hide. They have to go inside to hide, in all honesty, but they're, they're wild asses. They're quite comfortable with humans, I would assume. Um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, it's quite a, just a, an open uh, enclosure. Oh, there's a nice sign there as well, indicating the animal you can find here. Although if you can't find the wild asses, that probably means that you're blind or they're all inside, coincidentally. There's also a elevated view, so let's have a look at that. If my camera wants to go, oh yeah. So, we have a nice view here. Um, not that the view down there is any worse, so this is really just so you can get an elevated view, which is, I guess, fun for the kids and stuff like that. But yeah, you get a nice view from this angle as well of the Somali wild asses. And they're beautiful animals, aren't they? So then, now we'll have to head over and it's all the way on the other side, so we'll have to go through the eating quarters again. Um, but then we'll have a quick look at the, um, the dromedary camels, the final habitat animal of this zoo now <laughs> so we have to go through the eating quarters again and then we'll have a look at um, our beloved camels so uh, yeah this is a wall nice shaded off so um, the camels have a bit of privacy at least but once we go here you can see there's a nice fence with the camels visible and there's even a melanistic camel how cool is that so yeah, I was lucky to get a melanistic one. And uh, yeah, so there's an even better even better view over here. And I also added these golden um, camel um, signs on the wall. Give it a bit of an interesting design for the camel side at least. Camels are very loudy. Loudy? They're <laughs> very loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, the dromedary camels are quite a sight and um, it seems like it's one of the first time I actually saw a staff member fill up one of those water troughs. Yeah, similar thing here, it's even less um, uh, interesting I guess when it comes to the plants because it's completely flat, no um, specific rocks or anything except for these two boulders and just a very limited selection of grasses and these two trees. But yes, you get a definitely, um, you definitely get a uh, a really good view of the dromedary camels as well. Um, yeah, so this is the last episode of Kurek Educational Pack until I maybe continue on it someday in the future with some more animals. If you want to recommend some animals you'd like to see in this zoo, then you can definitely do that. But for now, I'll probably move over to some other projects, um, some some projects not related to DLCs, and eventually when the next DLC comes out, I'll probably build a zoo for that one as well. But um, yeah, thank you for tuning in on this adventure of Kurak Educational Pack. And um, well, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.